You know, it's time to boss up. You know there you what I'm go. saying? We got to let them know we shining in the hood. You know what I'm saying? We, that's where we come from. <laughs> exactly. Ain't nothing wrong with us shining. You know what <laughs> At I'm all, saying? At all, man. I love we it. work hard. You know, you work hard. Time to shine, right. man. 2019, the stars will shine. The underdogs will shine. Mm. That's what this is about. That's right, it's Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. You locked in with your boy, Reese. Now, right now, I got it. the legend, the legend, not a legend, the legend, the pioneer, the industry's mentor, the man that gives a voice to the platform to the people who need it the most, the president of New Orleans. <laughs> Master P is in What's the up? building. What's up, homie? Man, I, I'm good, bro. Like I said, I saw you in the elevator earlier. I said, man, you the first person that gave me, like, a big drop yeah. when I started. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I just want to say I appreciate that, man. Now we got to keep it real with our people, man. I, I, I'm i just proud of y'all. Just keep growing. And, mm. you know, I tell people, you know, it's all about changing your mindset mm. if you want to change who you are. Mm. You know, a lot of people don't want to grow up. A lot of people want to stay stuck into what they've been into, yeah. but doing what they've been doing. Not elevating the next level. Don't realize everybody got 24 hours. Mm. You could choose what you want out of life. If you take 24 hours and you just partying and chilling, mm -hmm. that's probably, probably what you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? You take <laughs> some of those hours out that day and invest into your future. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to have a lot of money. People don't realize it ain't about the money. Mm. It's the mindset. Mm. Being broke is a state of mind. I tell people, you know, uh, I could lose it all, but if I got a billion dollars worth of knowledge, yeah. I'm going to get some money. You're going to get it back. You know, yeah. I'm like, I'm like instant grits. Just add some water. I'm gonna make some money. You go. All, all yeah. you all you need is the package. Open. That's it. That's it. Man. That's what's up. Man. That's some of that knowledge. We definitely got to get into that, man. But uh, right now, I'm not talking to Master P. Yeah. I'm talking to Black, man. Yeah. Talk Black. to me, man. You I got know, the hook up too. I'm excited about this movie, man. You know what? I got the hook up too. <laughs> Black and Blue is back. You know, we we older. We have kids. Uh -huh. Our kids wilding, man. Uh, <laughs> like y'all was. Man, like we was. So you know, and it's like. You done changed your life, and you like, you know, Fat Boy play uh, Blue Sun, uh -huh. and uh, DC Young Fly play Spider, yeah. which he uh, Blue Sun best friend. Yeah, that's a heck of they, a combination. Man, <laughs> they end up, you know, taking these cell phones from uh, one of these rappers, yeah, but not knowing that they it's connected to the Colombians. That sounds eerily familiar, man. man. I, I think I think that uh you need to just stop picking up cell phone boxes, man. I know, man. <laughs> it's just like the Colombians not only have cell phones, they got their work in them cell phone boxes. So oh wow, we yeah. in trouble, man. Yeah, y'all in big trouble, <laughs> we man. In trouble. Y'all gotta go see this movie. <laughs> and the thing is about this movie, while we going through all that, man, we have a restaurant called Big Papa. Yeah, so yeah. We about to lose the restaurant. So ah, man. We, you know, we... we <laughs> I'm we, sure Blue had something to do with that. Man, Blue <laughs> ain't doing nothing right. He just having fun, chasing the girls. And, uh, you know, even though it's a funny movie, yeah. it's also about gentrification. So that's the yeah, last yeah. black-owned business in the community. I wanted to talk to you about that because you always kind of put something that has to do with everything yeah. inside of these movies. You put, yeah. you, you kind of give us a little, a little of that medicine and the entertainment, yeah. Sugar. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, so, so man, it's good to see that because I saw the previews. Yes. I'm excited about it. I saw the food trucks and all that, oh, and yeah. I was like, "Oh, okay, I see what's going on." Oh yeah, nice. you know when you see the food trucks or Whole Food, you know oh, what's yeah. happening in the neighborhood. And, you know, Jeezy, <laughs> Jeezy turned up because he was a hustler in the movie, and then he ended up, you know, yeah, he's selling vegan food. Yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> he ain't got no more roll ups. We like, right, man, man, what's going on? <laughs> you know, like he like, man, look, I know diversification. Though. Yeah, so yeah. you know, it's good to see. You know, somebody changing their life is like in real life. Yeah. And, you know, we still trying to get it together. Yeah. But, you know, we want in. Yeah. You know, I go see him. I'm like, man, I need in on this. Yeah. I'm trying to figure something out. I feel like this is part of your real life yeah, in the you movie. Know what? Right? A, little <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. That's what's up, man. But, you know, I was able to do this movie with my son, Romeo, man. We financed the film and started it. Wow. So this is history. Right. It is. We gave over 126 people speaking roles yeah. in this movie. So, uh, wow. what's up for the game? Wait, 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 wait. You can't just breeze through that, man. Yeah. 126 people speaking roles in yeah. the movie. That's a lot, P. We up for the Guinness Book of World Records for the most speaking roles in a theatrical film. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. Y'all go out to AMC and, 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 and support this film. 
You know what I'm saying? I got my tickets already. I got to get you can get them right now. I got the hookup.com. I got the hookup too. Dot com, you yeah. can get your tickets today. I already went and got mine. Like, I ain't want to talk about it. I want to be about it. Oh, yeah, when I nah, saw I it. it. Yeah, I when I saw that. it. You know, like I tell people all the time, we need to support us because we didn't own Black Panther. Mm-hmm. We had us in Black Panther. We, yeah. made, we created stars in Black Panther, but where that money going after? Right. After it was made. You know, they made billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. It's not coming back to our communities. With this movie, support this. We're investing back into the community. Wow. And I saw it, it was a perfect opportunity for them to do that, too, because at the end of yeah. the movie, it showed that they was going to do something in Oakland. I know it was cinematic, but at the same time, it would have been real dope if they did that in real life. Oh, Put yeah. it like a nah, little stamp center for the kids or something. That would have been great, man. Yeah. But you know what? That's why I say ownership is so important because we can't control that money. When yeah. It's made. Yeah. So think about you know, we're, we're putting stars on that come from the hood that never would got opportunity to play in these type of movies. Yeah, you definitely and, did that. And uh, taking social media stars, mixing them with real Hollywood stars. Uh-huh. This is going to change the way movies are made. Yeah, I hope so. It, it, it's like you kicking the door open again. Oh, yeah. It's almost like you had the formula when you was popping that trunk, selling all them records, yeah. and then you had everybody's album cover on the back. Like, yeah. this is what's coming. You yeah. got everybody ready. So, Fast forward. Yeah, but you'll see at the end of the movie. Is eight other movies coming. That's what I'm saying, P. Next, we're, we're promoting eight movies at the end of this movie. P got a cheat code, man. Nah, man. You know what? You gotta, when you maximize own that platform. You can do that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. And yeah. You, you, you can take advantage of all those different platforms that you have. I mean, why not? I mean, we able to promote the Manyatis, the shoes in yeah. the movie. And big up to Manyatis, he got the, yeah. the, the the leopard, not yeah. cheetah, not cheetah the, leopard, the leopard, the red snake skins, yes. all that, man. What what does a radio host got to do to get him to get a Manyati deal, man? You know what? <laughs> I'm asking selfishly right all now. Right. We working on that. <laughs> right, we gonna cool. work on that. You know what I'm saying? We cool, gonna work man. on that. You know, Manyatis, the Bugatti's shoes. It know? is, man. So that's the answer. So everybody is like, man, Gucci keep doing this wrong. Prada, all these companies, yep. they come in, they use our money, which is no problem if you want to shop. That's what your preference. But what are they doing back to the community? Well, you know what? Every shoe that's sold, a percentage going back to the community to help inner city kids with education. Talk so to them. That's, 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 that's what it's about. So when you buy a Manyati, you're not just buying a great luxury, high fashion shoe, mm-hmm. but it's for a great cause. I yeah. feel like we put that money, the more we make, the more we can put back into the community. And that's mm-hmm. what I was showing Nipsey Hussle. I was like, man, you know, this is what I live for. Yeah. You know, this is what I believe in. And it's sad as a tragedy to where they took my homeboy life that was really trying to do something Absolutely. positive for the people in the hood. So that just show us, too, while we're doing good things, we still got to play defense. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. So, you know, God is good, but there's so many devils out there. Yeah, too. So it's a lot, so it's a lot de- of opposition. The devil is real, too. I, I hear you t- a lot talking about the haters. It's like people that don't want to see you progress. Yeah. You, know, you got it out the mud yourself. Yeah, yeah. But they still find something to nitpick, even though, like, you can go in and give out a thousand book bags. Yeah. Like, I saw you do that with your sons. Yeah. Going, and then the next week, somebody talking bad, crazy about you. And yeah. it's like, man, I, I love when you when you song the song, too. Oh, bro. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it, it, it's a lot. A lot of haters in the neighborhood, uh-huh. man, but the thing about it is you keep doing the right thing, mm-hmm. you know, that it, 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 and take that hate and overpower it with love. Yeah. Everything going to fall in place. You yeah. know, I believe in that man up above. He do everything for a reason. Mm. The haters motivate me. Yeah. You know, I can see make, that, they man. They make me go do, they make me shine, man. You know, I see, I see the ice cream man, man is back. I y'all, see. y'all haters make me shine. I'm just like, thank you, haters, for your support because you're just pushing me. I love now it. I'm, now I'm going to do more <laughs> things now. You I know love what I'm it. saying? So y'all got to check out the new soundtrack. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me, can I got to talk about this? Because I see man. I see the ice cream man is back, but you got yeah. the snowman on the song. Man. I know he in the movie, but I wasn't expecting to go on. I wasn't you expecting that. He, he on the song, the ice cream man and the snowman. This is history. I can it's tell crazy. it's gonna be a cold summer. It's gonna be a cold you know what summer. I'm saying? Get your white and get ready, cause <laughs> you know what? We about to we we about to take over every club. Yeah. Every arena. Man, you know it's gonna be saying? crazy. It's, it's gonna be a cold summer. That's all I can tell you. Go get the soundtrack. I got the hook up too. Man, you seem rejuvenated, man, to have like you and Jeezy yeah. on this on the track. And then you yeah. got the, you brought the chain out for I this. I had one. to, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to. You know, it's time to boss up. You know there what I'm saying? Go. We gotta let them know we shining in the hood. You know what I'm saying? That's where we come from. <laughs> exactly. Ain't nothing wrong with us shining. You know what, At what I'm all, saying? At all, man. I love we it. Work hard. You know, you work hard. Time to shine, right. man. 2019. The stars will shine. The underdogs will shine. Mm. That's what this is about. I want the world to know. Yeah, y'all could 
make all these big gigantic movies. We coming for y'all. We coming for the next Spider Mans and yeah. superheroes. But guess what? We starting taking care of our urban film. Yeah. African American and Latino communities. We're coming to to mastermind that to where we're gonna make so much money doing this mm-hmm. that we're gonna open them budgets up for the hundred million dollar move. Right. And then we could we could really make some African American superheroes and Latino superheroes. I love that, man. Because we don't have it, but we nah. gotta start right now. Right. This this movie for me is like when I first put the Ice Cream Man album. Right. And that's what is so what, reminiscent that's, of that's that, why man. I, had to break I, I love the chain it. Now. Yeah. So on the movie side, that's what y'all about to witness. But I got to hook up too. You, this is like the Ice Cream Man album. Yeah. It's gonna get bigger and bigger, bigger and yep. bigger. And, and bigger then you got me. more people coming That's from it. off them branches, man. I love it, man. That's it. We're gonna create so many stars. P, does it feel like? Does it feel like it again? Like when you dropping it again? Did that same energy? Yeah, I mean, in New Orleans, we did the world premiere in the red carpet for the movie. They went crazy. Yeah, you know, we brought the bands out. Wow, I mean, it was packed. The theater was going crazy. Uh huh. Man, DC Young Fly about to be a star. That's man, I, I, I've been you. saying it, but bro showed up to one of my celebrity games before anybody really knew he who he was. He about to be a star. Yeah, we That's the only thing I can tell y'all. He I have uh, Terry Miles in here, Uncle Willie. He played yeah. an old character. He's going to be a star. I said you got Zeus in there. See, man, Debo. You man, got everybody, man. dog. Everybody. John Weatherspoon. Yep. <laughs> uh, man, it's so many. Cheryl Underwood in here. Mm-hmm. I mean, Romeo went crazy in this movie. Like, he... Yeah, he's about to Romeo be, playing the police. He's playing the police, man. And he's kidding me. Yeah, no, that's crazy, right? You. you know what I'm saying? They're going to take me to jail. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... He got to do his job, yeah, man. I'm like, come on, come man. Come on, bro. That ain't about to happen. Yeah. He's trying to find out where I get the phones from. I'm like, man, I don't man. know where these Yeah, you got to relax, man. They just showed up, yeah. man. <laughs> I just got a package. That's yeah, all. That's it, man. Now, uh, spe- speaking of you and your son in, in yeah. New Orleans, man, Essence Fest just passed. I heard y'all had the celebrity game. I feel oh, yeah. like... That that's, that's cheating. I feel what? like when y'all do a celebrity game, that's like Golden State versus a high school team. Come man. on, man. <laughs> Everybody want to play for us in the celebrity game. Who wouldn't? They, y'all got, they got the Munyadi clothes, the yes. custom jerseys and yes. all that, man. Yes. How nah, could you not drop 50 but wearing, you, wearing you know leopard what? skin shoes? You know what? It was good <laughs> because at the end of the day, the kids won. Yeah, yeah. You know, we gave scholarships to the kids in New Orleans. We do that every year, man. Uh-huh. This is We've been doing this for like 20-something years. Right. And uh, it's crazy, man, how time fly. Yeah. And to be able to watch these kids, you know, get they just do. Because some of those kids are going to be like me. They're going to make yeah. it. I tell them, you don't owe me nothing. Mm. You know, this game is, we call it balling for a cause. Yeah. One of y'all make it, y'all keep this going. Come ha, ha, back and what, help the next generation. What's one of the stories? I know you got at least one one of these kids have received and then came back to you or, or got in touch with you through IG or something. But like, man. Now, you know what? The, one of the biggest stories is, uh, so, you know, I had DeMar DeRozan since the seventh mm-hmm. grade. Right, right. And now he's one of the top ten players in the NBA. Mm. And uh, he's been going through my program since yeah. the seventh grade. And I'm I'm proud of him. Man, yeah. That. Look what he look what he's doing with right. his life. And he's so, doing it right too, yep, man. He definitely doing, doing it, right. it right. You don't see him in no crazy stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. he got bars too. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got bars too. Right now we kicking it with the legendary Master P man. And uh man, I am just I appreciate you coming by, just chopping it up with me about all this stuff. You kinda like give the city a little more energy when you get on this radio. Yeah, man. man, you know what? I love this city, you know, because you gotta realize this is like my second home. Mm-hmm. Like me and my career, I knew that I had to come to the ATL. Yeah. Like, my, half of my family out here anyway. Yeah. You know, and then the fans that I have out here, the old and the new fans, man, it's just, it's incredible. Right. Because, you know, they're like, man, P, you're getting better with time. It's like you. I'm like, you know what? I'm just trying to do what's right. right. Like, I ain't I ain't on no fake stuff to where it's like, do what the crowd doing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you might have to say what's real. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, like even when I talked about my homeboy Nipsey Hussle, man, that's real because that man should have got them flowers while he was here. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, absolutely. all of a sudden, his record, the biggest record in the world, the same record that we that talked about out. two years two ago. Year, yeah, exactly. Two years ago, yeah. he was like, man. What a love at yeah, now. Like yeah, I've been doing this. Really... It's so crazy because I know people that had the shirts. They had like the Crenshaw, the, the Marathon shirts and didn't even know that it would, that you could scan it. And I'm yeah. like, I see them like, you know, you can scan that shirt. They're like, yeah. oh, he's ahead of his time. Now you should have did the research then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know but, what? His life is definitely going to go on and bridge so many gaps to where hopefully a lot of these youngsters stop this beefing, man, yeah. and, and realize let's take control of our community. Mm. And let's do our part because he did his part. 
Yeah. And uh, I know that his life is definitely bridging a lot of gaps to where, you know, people look at inner city kids different now. Yeah, That absolutely. we do have a verse. And, yeah. And we can change the world. I yeah. Mean, his life really changing the world. It's, yeah, it is. I mean, I had Big U up here. He was even yeah. talking about that and talking about how, like, it stopped. A lot of the violence stopped. It, they was able to bring a lot of the active people together. You know yeah. what I mean when I say active people yeah. together, at least for a short period of time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that pain is actually hopefully it brings some healing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Man, so, Pete, New Orleans, man. Yeah. The Pelicans, man. We, yeah. we, we getting designed, man. Yeah. I, I'm sure I'm sure something's going to happen with you and him. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> it's, all I can tell y'all is going to be big. Oh, and, man. And, uh, <laughs> I think that we're going to have a great team this year. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we're going to come to Atlanta and cut up. Right. And, <laughs> and I think that hopefully they change this rule so you can go straight from high school. I feel like Hersey going straight to the Pelicans. That, yeah. That's what I think, man. You no, know, man, my son been working hard. Like, he came out here for the Peace Jam. He's been doing his thing. Yeah. And uh, he played on the uh, underclassmen All-American game right, right here. And uh, this year he's going to be a junior. Mm. So I told him, I said, man, you just got to keep working. He, yeah. You got to put up a 1,000 shots a day. Yeah. I told him, nobody going to give you nothing. You got an X on your back. I'm going to give you a, a, a little secret somebody told me, and this is how, yeah. I, got my, this is how I got my scholarship. Now, I wasn't yeah. blessed with height, but I was blessed yeah. with this. He said, don't shoot a 1,000 shots, make a 1,000 in the morning. Yeah. I was up every morning yeah. at 6 o'clock before yeah. school making a 1,000. Yeah. And then by my senior year, if it hit the rim, it didn't count. Yeah. You so, know what? And that's what I'm saying. If you look at it like a Steph Curry. Yeah. It's about putting that work in. Yeah, yeah. You know, because even a lot of kids is not going to even shoot a thousand shots. Right. That's, that's a lot of hard work. That's a lot. You know what I'm saying? You, you have your... to be committed. Mm hmm So I told them, you need to be committed to defense, mm -hmm. and the offense is going to come. Going to come. You got to get the scrap buckets. You got to get rebounds. So that's how I'm teaching. Yeah, that's an easy know, to way to 30. Yeah, yeah. He got all the cheat codes, man. Nah, we're going to do a just, movie say Master P cheat codes. That's nah, what we're going to do. Just, you know what? We supposed to share that yeah, with the next yeah, generation. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, and I think, a, but, but the next generation have to listen. They got to accept it. Exactly. They got to accept it. Yeah. Yep, that's the only way we could, we could grow. Yeah, if that's what they do for their people. Right. And we know what we mean when we say that. Yeah. We need to do that, <laughs> man. Master P right here. I got the hookup, too. It's going to be everywhere. Uh man, videos on demand. I yeah. oh, I pre ordered mine. Hold on, I got it. Some, yep, I pre ordered mine already. All right, you know what I'm saying. All we right. just get, go online. It's so easy to get to. And yeah. uh man, we go we gonna to be iTunes. watching that thing. You know, go to Amazon. Mm -hmm. You know, do what you gotta do. You man. doing? You this, on this, Amazon this buying movie. batteries anyway, man? Exactly. Just go to get the movie. So the ones that can't make it to the movie theater. We got the hookup for y'all, too. There it is. You know there saying? it is. There it is. I love it, man. This is the new wave of movies. I think that I know that this is going to open up so many doors, man. I just appreciate you giving people like uh, DC and, and, and them a real platform and Fat yeah. Boy to shine on the yeah. big screen, man. This yeah. is dope. This is so dope, bro. Yeah, and you know what? You only could do that if you own something. Yeah. And so I thank the man up above for blessing me that we own this business so where we can give our people opportunities. Absolutely, man. Pete, what would you do if you could go back to a 70-year-old Percy, man, yeah. and, and talk to him? What would you, What would be a piece of advice you would tell him? Man, I'd tell him, dog, straighten up right now. Don't wait <laughs> until you get wait. older. <laughs> Handle your business, man. The future is bright for you, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do all that crazy stuff mm. that you think you got to go through in the community. Mm. You know, so, yeah, straighten up now. You ain't yeah. gotta wait till you're twenty something. Right. You know, and uh put your trust in God. Yeah, it is. And that that's that'd be it. Go from there. Yeah, it is. I feel like you told Romeo all that, because that man's oh, gonna yeah. be a billionaire in a yeah. few, in a few yeah. months. I yeah. can feel it. Yeah. I can he spell will it. be, man. He's working <laughs> hard. I know it, man. Well, Pete, we appreciate you, man. Uh everybody go see this movie, get this album when it drops, yeah. the, the soundtrack. And we're gonna be streaming this, uh, this man, this P and Jeezy. Yeah. Gone. Snowman ice cream, man, gone. It's going to be a cold summer. Cold summer, big dog, no fleas. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. This is how 107 now we go.